Ahoy, friends, and welcome to Primecast Plus, episode 18. First up this week is an upcoming mini crate, Frozen Retribution, sculpted by Fausto Gutierrez. It's Iris like you've never seen her before, with hair. And if you don't like the original Mage Hunter with long golden locks, well, you're just gonna have to let it go. Also, coming to the mini crate is our next VIP model, the Party Pig. Sculpted by Nate Brooks, the mini crate Party Pig is a stand-in for the only slightly less boisterous Pig Tapper unit attachment found in the upcoming Southern Creel's Brine Blood Marauders Army expansion. One of our most anticipated models in the Brine Bloods expansion is the Pig Dirge, short for Dirigible, also sculpted by Nate Brooks. These little guys are going to rain death from above. And leading their army expansion is none other than Captain Shadow Tongue, a fearsome and mysterious Trollkin warlock sculpted by none other than Nate Brooks and painted by Josh Berman. You'll be able to get Shadow Tongue's full bio in the War Machine app very soon. The next warlock-led army for War Machine is Chimera Shadow Flame Shard, and heading the core army starter, Shiss, the Flawless Dark, sculpted by Eric Zielinski and painted by Josh Berman. Shiss will be accompanied by a pair of heavy war beasts. First, the Vipex, sculpted by Eric Zielinski and painted by Josh Berman, with interchangeable heads, tail weapons, and arms. And the Hydrix, sculpted by Eric Zielinski and painted by Josh Berman, with multiple heads and animus options. For those looking to get their hands on Shadow Flame Shard early, you'll be able to get both war beasts, along with Rasik, Spawn of Shadows, sculpted by Carlos Castano. Rasik is the ultimate dragon ninja. And here's your first look at the third warlock for the Shadow Flame Shard, Nixian, the Stygian Coil. Featured in the artwork of the Shadow Flame Shard expansion, illustrated by Andre Ordozo. Oh, and one more thing, coming soon, the Signar Stormforge Cadre. That's right, I said Cadre. 